Who's celebrating? Who got a celebration tonight? Clap if you got a celebration. Okay, that's way too many. Let's move on. Listen. You point to him, you got a celebration? It's your birthday? Yeah. Happy birthday, brother. How old are you, man? 50. 50? You look good, man. You don't even look a day over 49, bro. You look good, man. You got more hair than I ever had, man. God bless you, brother. What's your first name? David. David? Y'all want to sing happy birthday? Yeah. Nope, we're not singing happy birthday to you tonight, David. <laughs> happy birthday, thank y'all. That's your wife? Yes. Is this her birthday, that, is this your birthday present to him? Wait, who's the wife? Which your, you and? I, I thought it was her, and then she pointed to her, then you answered. I, you know, y'all got enough problems in y'all life. I'm gonna leave y'all alone. I'm gonna pray for y'all real quick too, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Can you help them figure out who they marry? Because they don't even seem like they know right offhand. They just go everywhere together, just whatever. Oh, that's right, we're in Utah. My bad, all right. Thank you, <laughs> thank you for reminding me, Jesus. I, I feel like I would have forgot that right there. <laughs> <laughs> That's the coronavirus got me right there. <laughs> Happy birthday, buddy. And some people over here in this section, I think y'all are clapping too, right? Yeah. Is it another birthday? Yeah. What's the name? Daphne. What is it? Daphne. 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 All right. <laughs> Daphne? Yeah. Oh, don't get mad. It ain't like we went to school together, Daphne. <laughs> you caught the same attitude she got from the substitute teacher. <laughs> Happy birthday, Daphne. You're welcome. What, do, what kind of job are you doing, Daphne? I'm a pastor. A processor? Pastor. Are you a pastor? Yes. <laughs> Come lay hands on him. Nice to meet you, Pastor, and thank you for dedicating your life to bring all of us lost souls to the cross so that Jesus could bless us and let us spend the eternity in heaven. God bless you, baby girl, and happy birthday to you. Yeah. Right. You know, I'm going to be nice to the pastor, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you mess around and mess around too hard with a pastor, you'll be back at the hotel. Is that a locust? How did a locust get on me? <laughs> It's in the Old Testament. You got to go back and kind of fall. Like, you got to turn it back, boy. Turn it back. I do, so, I do shows in churches all the time. In fact, that's where mostly I do my shows. I say, yeah, they, and I'll come do a show at your church, too. Is it here in Provo? Uh, we have one here, but I'd like you to come to Africa. We have an orphanage. Africa? <laughs> you know how hot it is in Africa? <laughs> I'm sweating in Utah. <laughs> But I bet y'all go to Africa, I bet y'all will. Just go ahead and invite and see if I don't show up in Africa. Y'all gonna see me on CNN, y'all. They're gonna be like. <laughs> <laughs> Please talk to me at the end of the show because I'm gonna do that, all right? Okay. Let me tell you something, I got baptized 12 years ago. I'm so proud of this. Let me tell you, and I, I know that you're a good pastor because they got good pastors and we got some knuckleheads too. <laughs> I'm serious, you know them knuckleheads. Y'all remember David Koresh, y'all remember him? <laughs> That dude was in Waco, Texas, telling everybody he was Jesus. <laughs> he had people believing he was Jesus. I knew he wasn't Jesus as long as I saw him. He was wearing glasses. <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know about you, but my Lord and Savior did not need corrective lenses. That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> Jesus coming back for his people, but he ain't gonna stop at the mall and get his glasses. That lens craft is in about an hour. He ain't gonna do it like that. <laughs> he could fit his own eyeballs, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> he was just coming back to get us. Come on, we're going back to heaven. Let's go. He was like, hold up, I think I got glaucoma. <laughs> I'm good, keep walking, keep walking. <laughs> In the South, where I'm from, in New Orleans, there's a lot of Catholic churches, right? I went to Catholic school as a little boy. I went to Catholic church. And I, I can't go to Catholic church anymore, y'all. I'm, I'm too big. Like, I'm overweight, you know what I'm saying? Like, Catholic church, it's like a robot. You got to stand up, sit down, kneel, pray. Stand up, sit down, kneel, pray. It's hot where I'm, I'm, I'm laying in the back pew. I'm hot! <laughs> can't Jesus hit me when I lay down? <laughs> 
And we never knew when to stand up and sit down and kneel, right? But we had a 90-year-old lady sat in the front pew. When she stood up, we stood up. When she sat down, we sat down. <laughs> One time she was eating the peppermint, got stuck in her throat. She started jumping up and down. We all started jumping up and down. <laughs> Holy Ghost came to that Catholic church, y'all. <laughs> I got baptized 12 years ago. I met a pastor when I was performing on a cruise ship. And the pastor told me that every first Saturday in December, he, he lives in Jackson, Missouri, one of the poorest towns in America. He said every first Saturday in December, they do a show, a benefit show, to raise money for the people around this church so that they can have cel celebrate Christmas. Because if they didn't, they wouldn't be able to have Christmas. When he told me that, I go, Pastor, I want to come do it. I won't even charge you nothing. I'll pay for everything myself. I want to come help. And I've been doing that every year, right? And the Lord put it on me to get baptized because the Bible says repent and be baptized. So I said, will you baptize me when I come out there? It was 12 years ago. He said, yeah, much. I'd be glad to baptize you. We'll do the show on Saturday. Sunday morning, we baptize you. Now, I got to tell you this. That pastor, he a black pastor. Most awesome dude. His church, all black people. I'm a white boy, y'all. <laughs> I got baptized that Sunday morning, nine people got baptized. I was number seven. I watched a family of five get baptized. I watched two more people get baptized. And then it was my turn. And I'm just gonna keep it real. I feel like he held me under the water a lot longer. <laughs> like when you get baptized, the water's not that deep. If you open your eyes, you can see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? Like I could see his face, he was like, <laughs> I was screaming, I was flailing my arms. I could hear the people in the back of the church, they're like, oh look, he's speaking in tongues. <laughs> I'm like, no I'm not, I'm drowning. <laughs> I'm gonna keep it real, white people, you get baptized in a black church, you better bring a snorkel, that's all I gotta say. <laughs> and a certified light guard in case that snorkel break off. 